We're cooler today and through the weekend, scattered showers at first mountain snow and widespread grapple also possible. And as we get into next week, there are about three different scenarios that could play out. I'm going to kind of lean toward one, and that's just because there is an optimist that lives somewhere inside of me, and he's just loud, yelling all the time. Huge trough overhead. This, watch, all the way down here like this and all the way up over here. It goes, it goes so far to the south and all the way back up. That cold air pool overhead plays a huge role in what we are going to see the next few days. This little disturbance right here bringing us a little bit of wind, and that wind is going to be strongest kind of this evening and tonight. We're going to see winds around 30 to 25 miles per hour. Those are the gusts eventually starting to die down as we get into the day tomorrow and calming even as we head through the weekend. So all in all, things are going to calm down quite nicely. When it comes to what's going on, a few scattered showers, most of those staying up in higher elevation, seeing some of that activity move out of Deer Park and off to the north. Colville, Chewila, you might see a little bit of activity and really it's all scattered until you get into the Cascades. A bulk of that activity staying over on the west side with this one. Predominantly zonal flow, remember that west to east, keeps most of the moisture up in the mountains in a scenario like this. We'll see a few more scattered showers. Notice tonight, could even see a little bit of snow fly here in Spokane and over in Coeur d'Alene. I think a bulk of that though stays up in the mountains. All that snow likely stays above 4,000 feet. Put that in perspective, South Hills, like 2,300 feet. Coeur d'Alene, you're around there as well, so not really worried about it, but it could start to accumulate in some spots. OMAC might even see a little bit of it, but for the most part, it's not overly widespread and it doesn't come down steadily. It's kind of these scattered showers that take us through the next couple of days. Now, when it comes to snowfall amounts, Anywhere below that 4,000 foot mark, it's going to melt within a couple of hours. I think Lookout Pass could get about two to four, and that's about the extent of it. Then as we get into next week, it does look like there are multiple scenarios, right? Well, forecast models are incredibly bad at picking up the incoming storm pattern. So what could happen is if that storm heads a little bit farther south and it dives down, we could wind up under this little ridge of high pressure, and that could keep us in the 50s with sun next week.